Well, today I have Sally Strauss from Activa Products with me, and we're going to talk to you about the versatility of this wonderful craft product. Exactly what is Cellu-Clay, Sally? Cellu-Clay takes the place of the old-fashioned strips of paper, flour, and water over chicken wire. That it mess. Is, <laughs> yes, it is marvelous ground paper with your hardening additives in it that you can form, freeform, sculpt, sculpt over an armature, which is a solid base shape. It is quite versatile. It is simplistic enough for children. It can be very sophisticated for fine art sculptors and model and hobbyists. Use it for train dioramas and layouts. Why don't we talk a little bit about the packaging? It comes consolidated in Absolutely. One it pound. comes in one pound packages, compressed. You can break off a portion of a package or you can use the entire package. You cr I find the easiest way to do this is to crumble it into a plastic bag and using the directions on the package, you add the correct amount of warm water. You close the bag up and you knead away your frustrations of the day. Just like bread dough. Yeah, just <laughs> like bread dough and then you will literally have paper clay. Oh, of course. Ready for sculpting. Absolutely. Ready for sculpting. And I'm going to roll this out first. One of the it, things that you can do is freeform, and we can show some examples of that by looking at the little animals on the table, the little, little pig and giraffe and frog, and also the beautiful trees that are on your fabric sculpture here. Abs How do you do that, Sally? Yes, this was done quite simply. You just pull off a little piece of cellular clay, get your basic shape. This would be the top of the tree, and this very sophisticated sculpting tool, a little plastic <laughs> fork, and you just make your little indentations in for your leaves, the trunk. Now then let it air dry, and that's the marvelous thing about cellular clay. It is totally safe. It is non-toxic. It needs no firing. It, it air dries completely. We suggest two and a half to three days drying time, turning the project so that it dries evenly. Then you're ready to paint and decorate. Now, if we wanted to do something with some real form to it, like perhaps the gingerbread cookies or the cow that's part of the picture over here, that can be done using something as simple as cookie cutters? Absolutely, and that is a marvelous thing for children to do. You would roll it out here and this way, using plastic, you protect your rolling pin. Right. A child could then just put a cookie cutter in and cut out a shape and over there we have examples of gingerbread. Now that would be a permanent cookie. You wouldn't have to redo that every you year. You would not have to redo that for the Harrod housewife that needs decorations and doesn't have time to bake gingerbread men every Christmas. Here's the answer. Now you can also apply rigid wrap to several surfaces, can't you? It can be applied to for instance, stones like our frog? Absolutely. This was a rock that a child sculpted in an art class, and he thought his rock looked like a frog critter, so that was done that way. The little giraffe, the basic bitey shape was cut just from a piece of corrugated cardboard. Clothespin legs were attached, cellular clay was sculpted on the cardboard. So a preschooler or even a kindergartner Absolutely. could do a project like Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Now we also can use it with a variety of molds. This particular mold is ceramic or it a clay is, mold? Yes, a clay cookie mold. Now what's the procedure for doing that? The procedure for this particular molding is you use toilet paper as your mold release and you literally with a paintbrush and water paint the to you wet, you put the piece of toilet paper into the mold, okay. you would then wet that thoroughly. You're almost making a paper mash of toilet paper. Okay. You then give it a little glue water wash. We, we thin Mighty Tacky and then you press the cellular clay in just as you would cookie dough. Now do you have to leave it in there for three no, days? No, this is the only molding method that you can move or remove cellular clay immediately and not distort detail. You just wrap around the edges with a wooden spoon 
it pops right out and you can see here the nice detail. All of the same detail that you All have of the same that. detail. Can I use something like a mold that I might have around the house like this for candy? You definitely may. There is a little trick to that. I use a dishwashing detergent as a mold release. Slight, you don't want soap bubbles, okay. just slightly. Pack it in tightly and pop it in your freezer. In the freezer? In the freezer and in four or five hours, in essence, you really have celluclate ice cubes. They will release in 60 seconds, they pop right out and you let them dry normally they that they fall that's right they fall and dry now our wonderful bunny here is actually a candle mold absolutely that is a two part plastic candle mold you can see the seam you can see the seam and she was rolled out like this and i just pretended that i was filling an odd shaped pie plate okay the two sides were joined together and then in her frozen state, the body supports the head. It thaws slowly as it air dries. And then they might be interested in seeing the back, which is undecorated. And that has had a coat of mighty tacky on it to sort of fill in any little cracks and crevices. And, and it gives a nice gloss to it. And it gives a nice too. gloss to it. And then it is ready to accept the acrylic paint. Now, we don't have time for all of the wonderful ideas, but you do have books with, that are full of ideas. We absolutely Sally. do. We have project books that can help you along with, give you ideas. And I'm sure there are wondrous things that people can come up with that they haven't even, we haven't thought of. Sally, what about something that needs a structure? If I wanted to put this on a mold, it would fall right through chicken wire. What do you use? I use our product called Rigid Wrap, which is a plaster impregnated cloth. You activate the plaster by dipping this in warm water, and it collapses and will conform to any shape. The little heart-shaped shadow box. This one? Yes, the armature was made over a metal cake pan. Oh, a cake pan, of course. And then I had literally had a rigid wrap pie shell armature on which to sculpt the celluclide. If we move over to the little house with the little thatched roof on the top now, would you just use a bowl or a jar as your armature? I used a large two-gallon jar and just came about a third up the bottom. You with, know, and let, with the rigid wrap, you okay. close in the bottom, bring it up the sides, and then you have exactly that shape with which to, now to the, sculpt. The Christmas tree is one of my favorites, and the base for that is a very unusual product. The base is our drinking, water drinking dispenser paper cup, cups. the paper cups that are triangular shaped. You place those in a tree shape. You refine those again with your rigid wrap, and then you put your sheet of celluclay on and you pinch the edges. You put it thickly enough that you can give dimension to the tree. Now, is this painted then, Sally? It is not painted with paint. We have glue, uh, colored sand. So it's and it is with painted sand. with glue and it is painted with green and white sand. It's a wonderful product. Now we have something very simple over here that even a child could do. That again is just taking your basic celluclay and putting it through what? Putting it through a cake decorating tube. And the bracelets were extruded around jars to keep them circular until sure. they dried. The little picture holder would be something a child could create for a school picture. So actually we're showing you that you can do something as simple as preschoolers freeform work to the dioramas that perhaps the hobbyists with their trains and things could use to some wonderful work done in the museums. All done with the product from Activa Products called Celluclay. I hope you'll all run out right now to your favorite craft store, pick up some Celluclay and have fun.